here I am with another video. I never finished my last video, so I apologize if I didn't like give you a hey, bye. I got a little long-winded. Didn't finish my story. YouTube went 35 minutes and 22 seconds. I thought I thwarted YouTube. So anyway, Annie. Joyfield Stitcher here, coming at you with a flox, flo, a flog tube, a floss tube extra this week, and this is kind of an October plans video. Um, I didn't intend to have two videos, but actually this may work out to advantage of those who don't want to one really long video, or would like to just see kind of what my birthday plans are. So, backstory. Welcome back if you're returning, if you are new, or if you are interested in my birthday sal, and that's what kind of led you here, welcome. October 13th is my birthday. I will be 39. I am not 39 and holding. I will be 39. I mentioned last week in my regular floss tube video that some days I don't even remember if I'm 37, 38, but I do know because mathematically, I was born in 1980 that this is my 39th birthday. I'm not quite sure how I got here. Um, time flies when you're having fun, right? Mm -hmm. We're going to go with that. <laughs> um, so anyway, I decided that since this is my... To kind of finish my story from Floss Tube 21. So if you've watched Floss Tube 21 and you're like, Well, what's the end of the story? The end of the story is... I found my joy back through stitching and it literally came from um, my mom had been dying for me for over 10 years to stitch um, Lottie Dawes Noah's Ark for her and if you're not familiar it's a like tan background almost completely stitched in DMC 310 and then it's got pops of like a kind of taupey color for like the lion's hair and things like that so <clears throat> I set about a goal to finish it for Christmas, and I did not know if it was going to happen. I did have a small ornament that I did for her. It was a wee little one by Tiny. It was a Tiny, tiny, tiny Tidings, and it was a cute little, like, nativity scene in the winter, like, in the woods. Really small, super fast stitch. Um, and I did that one in a hoop finish, and so that was my, my kind of, like, resurrection finish. That was, like, my resurrecting this hobby is now part of my life. Stitching is part of my life. It will not ever go away again. Um, there are days that ebbs and flows, but it's not going anywhere. Um, it is so much of bringing me like a peace, a calm, a relaxation. I feel like we're creating art. Granted, we're reproducing someone else's work onto cloth, but the way that you use certain flosses and you convert things and you put in your own creative spin on a piece of amazing hand dyed fabric um and putting it all together I feel I really do truly feel it's art and it brings me joy it brought back my joy that was missing for you know quite some time and there are days when I'm having a really rotten day but the minute I put that needle in my hand and I feel that repetitive motion it's like all my cares go away so, in honor of the fact that I'm kind of starting this, so my 38th year was not a complete stitchy year. My 39th year will be a complete stitchy year. I decided, you know what? I'm going all out for my for my October birthday. Um, I'm going to do, um, my birthday's on the 13th. 13 is my lucky number. I have never been superstitious about the number 13. And so I decided, you know what? I'm going to have 13 starts for my birthday. And so I sat down and thought about all these projects that I've been longing to start, um, that I've been gushing over, thinking about, I want to start these. Thinking about what I felt like I needed to do in terms of my current projects to feel comfortable starting 13 or more. We're going to get to why it's or more. And then kind of making sure I had all the piece, the cogs in the works. And I am still waiting on a couple of... I think I'm waiting on two patterns. No, a pattern, some fabric, 
and some floss for some different projects. So you'll see when I share these with you. So in collaboration with the fact that October is like my epic birthday starts month, I am doing an actual hashtag, which is Joy Filled Birthday Sal. Um, Joy Filled Birthday Sal. Um, I went ahead and on my October, my October card, I don't know what you call it, your month, my month post where it says hello October, hello October, I went ahead and put that hashtag in there, Joy Filled Birthday Sal. And so I'm asking if you want to participate along with me in stitching on something for my birthday in honor of my birthday um, on October 13th. Um, I know that is like kind of traditionally dark 13 stitching. And so I don't want to discourage anybody from stitching on whatever they want to stitch on. My only caveat is stitch on something that brings you joy. That could be anything, any piece that brings you joy. Um, one of my little stitchy friends, little stitchy friends, one of my stitchy friends that interacts with all my videos, with all of my Instagrams, she shared that she is starting um, a design that's Chicken Joy. And I was like, Chicken Joy, I love it. So I'm going to kind of give you a rundown of what I'm going to be starting. I'm going to give you some stats on what they look like. Um, I've already started two, and I have another start tomorrow on Saturday. Oh, today is Friday, October 4th. Happy October. Um, and so I'll give you some details. Um, I intend to actually go back on this video and put those details in the description box below, but it will not be up on my initial upload. It will be like tomorrow during the day because we're a little late in the, late in the hours. It's already 830 the last video took forever to load. So my first start, which I started on October 1, and I've already put in quite a quite a number of stitches on this because I used it for my enchanted stitching, is um, Autumn Drum. And it is in a pouch that I uh, crafted out of Tula fabric that has this really cool owl. Um, it's a butterfly that looks like an owl, kind of. Like there's some unique Tula fabrics out there. So this is um, a kit that is exclusive to Acorns and Threads. And this is the Blue Flowers, the Blue Flowers Stitching Acorn, um, not Acorn, Autumn Drum. And so there's two, two, there's, this is the original finish. And then I have seen what drew me to this was the finish where it's on this really cool like tool caddy. And the acorn part is around the tool caddy and then the, um, the top is finished as like a tufted finish. So I, um, this kit I purchased from Acorns and Threads. I don't know if they have any more. I bought it a bit ago when I had seen that post. And it came with the fabric. It also came with the beautiful silks. So these are some gorgeous silks on the card already with the charting. So here's the story. And if you follow me on Instagram, you will have already seen that this this person needs to retract some statements here. Like, oh, I'll never be able to stitch on 40 count. Oh, I'll never want to stitch on linen. Oh, I couldn't possibly. Oh, my eyes can't do it. Oh, there's just no way. That was all lies. Or ha not knowing. One, okay. So this kit comes with beautiful lakeside linens. 40 count. Beautiful. I, I had to at least give it a go. And I'm going to say right now, I feel very, very proud of myself. I showed it to my husband, who's 45, and he goes, uh, uh, how? Like, that was his response. Uh, how? And I was like, I really don't know, but I'm obsessed now. Like, I've actually, since this, already decided that one other start is going to be on linen as well, and I'm waiting on that to come. So, I'm a big girl stitcher now. Not that like stitching on eight is not a big girl stitcher, but I always felt like I was not a good enough stitcher. But look at this. <gasps> so I have a beautifully, in my opinion, stitched acorn. It's not filled in. It has another color that goes in the gaps. And then the body of this super precious teeny tiny squirrel. Look at those stitches, friends. I did it and without a magnifier. High fives to me. Okay, so anyway, I am loving this. I am not putting, I have not put this down. I've pulled this out every day and put some stitches in. I'm loving it. It's over one. Uh, no, 
no, no, no. La, la, la. It is one strand over two. And I'm even using like a teeny tiny needle. I'm used to like a 24 tapestry needle. And this is a tiny little needle and I love it. It's got like some flex to it. I'm enjoying it. I really am. And like, thank you to those out there that have just continued to inspire me to try it. And thank you for Aaron to Martini Stitcher who has been working on this and I've seen it and I was like, okay, I must start it because it is adorable. And I, I was telling my husband, I said, my birthday treat to myself when I finish this will be to send it off and have it professionally finished. And I don't know, I think I might do a drum finish because as much as I love the crate and all of that, I don't have a drum. And so this will probably become a drum. All right, number two, start number two, which I started yesterday is one that has been around and around the Instagram and floss tube community. It is an amazing collaboration between Hands on Design, Ink Circles, and Summer House Stitchworks. It is the Impeccable Needles Dance, which was a collaborative design that um, certain vendors at um, Nashville got to attend. And so, anyway. Mine I purchased from Misty at Mystic Fabrics. She attended the um, thing, the like meetup, I don't know, seminar, I don't know what you call it, but the little pop-up or whatever that allowed them to purchase this. And so mine came all wrapped in this really cute bird fabric and I didn't have quite enough to do a pouch so I added some fabric to the top, added a coordinating interior and made my pouch out of the fabric that was sent to me. It is the kit, so it came with the beautiful Classic Colorworks colors. And um, this was decided to be stitched on Ada before my Linen Epiphany. And I had already picked out, this is a beautiful 16 count um, Ada from Ships Manor. This was the May Prim. And I am loving how this color is popping. So this is that first kind of center motif and this I looked at it today kind of from far from a picture and I was like oh kind of looks like your backbone and your hips I know it's not but I thought that was kind of cool but anyway so this is a beautiful piece of fabric I'm loving how it's popping I actually gave my blue uh the witchel piece that came with the kit I gave it away and um so even though I could have possibly started this on linen my linen was long sent to a loving home and so, no worries. Now, tomorrow, my start, I'm very excited about this. A lot of mine, not a lot, some of mine have a very, like, autumnal theme. Is uh, from one of the coolest, okay, I don't want to say cool. Yeah, one of the funniest, cutest, brightest spots on Floss Tube. I love watching every one of her videos. She's becoming a rather prolific designer uh, as well. And she does journals and amazingness. But, I mean, just her spirit is infectious. And that is Amanda May over at Artist's Design. And when she posted this, I was like, yes. Purchased it immediately. And I knew it had to be one of my starts. And so that is Acorn Assortment. And so Acorn Assortment is um, charted in Gentle Arts and or DMC. I chose to go ahead and get into my flossy stash and pull my own so this is going to be on a piece of 18 count snurt which is snow ice dirt from mystic fabrics and let me show you my flosses i pulled so i have a beautiful assortment that go along with the dmc colors so i'm gonna do my best here so i pulled gentle arts red plum This is Victoria Motto Colonial Stitching. Uh, Victoria Motto's Antique Cherry. Victoria Motto's Oregon Trail. I'm kind of getting off my fabric here. We're going to do our best here. Um, Victoria Motto Pumpkin Farm. Victoria Motto Bavarian Green. Are we seeing a theme here on the amount? Uh, Victoria Motto Sleepy Hollow which was part of the Return to Sleepy Hollow collection. And this might be my favorite one that I'm including. And this is going to be for the majority of the green work in the middle, I believe. Yep. All the green work in the middle. And this is squash 
on the vine. And like it has some amazing like golden tones even to it. It's more variegated than most of Nancy's. So I'm super excited about this palette for it. It's very close to the DMC, very close to the Dental Arts with a little bit of unique twist. So I'm excited about this and it's on one of my favorite fabrics, which is Snurt. So that is start number three. And I already have my little ring with my floss away. So I just haven't put my flosses in there because I was, um, I had them actually in there because they're stored that way in my drawer. But then I went to do a floss toss and I just hadn't put them back yet. So that's kind of my MO. Oops, hold on. Let me put my papers back. Because this is my, y'all have seen this before, but I do my little conversion chart with the originals and then what I chose and what the symbol is so that as I'm working through my chart, I don't have to constantly flip back over and find. Um, I do keep this as a PDF, so I can add it into my good notes if I wanted to, but I really just prefer to have the hard copy of that. Um, I work off of the electronic copy on most all of my patterns. Why do I say most all? All my patterns. Okay, so next Monday, I will be starting an Al Forest embroidery pattern. This is um, pom Pomegranate Quaker. And this is a fun one off of their site. And at some point, they did a deal where they were doing like a sale per day. And they um, this was one of them. So this will be, you know how I said I don't like love 14 count? Well, I had to find something to work on this. This is a beautiful piece of Mystic Fabrics in 14 count. This was a, a monthly. This was a, a Fabric of the Month. This is Mother Nature. And so let me show you. This I'm doing with the Al Forest Embroidery Flosses. So it is a slew of beautiful reds and pinks. So I'm going to see if I can do this without taking them out because they are already wound onto the Al Forest floss bobbins. So that is what that's going to be. So I'm super excited. And it's going to kind of take on a little bit of a Christmassy vibe, which I kind of like. So yeah, I'm excited about, I'm excited about all my starts. I still have some that I was like, oh, I could have started that too. No, I have enough. And in fact, it's looking like it's going to be 13 plus 2. Because I might have one that I'm that I have decided I'm going to start this month. We'll see. I know I'm at 13 plus one. 13 plus a bonus. But I will get to that in a moment. So then, middle of next week, on the 9th, I will start Blackbird Designs birthday stocking that comes from the By the Chimney with Care. Uh, this is the three stockings for January. Um, and I tracked this down before they did a reprint on it, and I was like over the moon when I found it. When someone actually answered my in search of and told me where to find it at retail, but now they're reprinting it. So it's this one right here. Here's a better view. And I am going to be stitching this for my daughter. Her birthday actually is in January, and so I thought it fitting. And um, so I am using a piece. This is a color and cotton grab bag piece. It's a beautiful, and I'm going to focus more on this section. This has a kind of a mottledy green on one half, but I'm going to focus on this half. It's not very large. Um, I think it's a, it's like three by five maybe overall. And I did a coloring cotton conversion on this. I just pulled flosses that look similar to the to the called fours, and I did a coloring cotton conversion. So we have. Let me um. Hold this up like I did. That's the wrong side. This side. So we have salmon, which is a pretty light pink. We have avocado. Silt, which is a pretty warm, light brownish. Old lace. And vintage valentine. So I'm really excited about that conversion. I'm excited about this piece. I'm think, thinking it's going to be a fairly quick stitch. I did pick kind of a mixture of some big old product, big old projects. I don't know if they're technically BAPs. I think at least two of them might be. Um, but then I tried to pick some smaller ones too to balance things out. Plus they were just ones I wanted to start. Um, I'm excited. I have two back-to-back -back that are full color and cotton conversions. 
Um, on the 11th, I will be starting Annie B's Count Your Blessings, Annie B's Folk Art. And I did a complete color and cotton conversion on this one as well. This, I believe, is on a piece of Mystic Fabrics. Did I write down what it was? I might have. I didn't. I think this is a Mystic Fabrics. I think this might be Veteris. I think. I'm not 100% certain. So I did a complete color and cotton conversion. Um, for the all the called fours, I went through again. And there were a couple. This was when they did a sale. And so um, they had done a sale on all their flosses. So it has pickle, which I love pickle. It might be one of my favorites of theirs. Chartreuse. Old Santa. Rosebud, Taffy, I'm already loving this right here, and then we've got Dark Truffle, my hands are not big enough to do this, how do y'all do this folks, Espresso, I feel like I can't fan them out like everybody else, I'm not skilled enough for this, I'm not a professional, Gunmetal, which actually is a, reads a little bit more blue, um, King's Blue Light, this is a beautiful blue, um, primitive vines. I love this one. This primitive vines kind of reminds me of that squash on the vine. Um, and then we've got bronze and rare copper. And so I, again, another one where I love these colors. They're just so rich. Angela is such, such a great floss dyer, fabric dyer, like everything. I love everything she does. I mean, I, I love a lot of different companies. I am not you know, like saying, oh, this is the only company I will ever stitch. There are a few that are not my favorite. Weak Style Works being for sure. Like, I don't, I have tried, I tried back in the day to stitch on some Weak Style Work linen. Now, maybe it's changed, but I remember it being terribly floppy and a hot mess for me to try to work with for somebody who that's just not comfortable to them. So... Another fun start. Now, for my actual birthday start, and I have shown this, I think, a little more fully in one of my videos. This I am doing this um, Ink Circles Rosetta. And I'm going to do my best to show this, but I don't know how well I will get along with it. I'm doing this on a piece of 20 count Ada from Mystic Fabrics. This is also in Snurt, but you can see it's, it looks a little different. This is also an opalescent, so it's a, got a beautiful shimmer to it. Um, this one I am doing uniquely, and this is actually, I took this idea from Jennifer Upton because I had seen where she had posted that she was doing all the exterior, like kind of the framing, middle and around, in one, one co bright color of Mo Sale. And then each one of the interior motifs will be a different, like, variegated. So I happened to be at my local LNS, which is Stitch Niche. And I literally went to the Gentle Arts wall and pulled everything I liked. And then I sat there and I figured it out. So all of my ins and outs, all of my around the frame and insides will be in cinders, which I love this. And I got three which should be enough, but I wanted to make sure they all look this, this same dye lot. And then starting in the top left, yeah, top left will be Verdigree, then Dragonfly, then Cucumber, and then Island Blue. This is beautiful Island Blue. I've seen Island Blue that looks all this blue, but this one is real green and blue together, which I'm obsessed. Then the middle row, starting left to right, will be, this is Corn Husk. And then we've got Gold Leaf. And then Butter Crunch, which is my husband's, one of his favorite Bluebell ice creams is Butter Crunch. And Bittersweet. And then the final row, starting left to right, will be Pomegranate. Coral Reef. Geranium and pink azalea. So very jewel tones, in my opinion, very rich. I picked a fabric where they could pop. 
um, against it and I love the opal so I just thought it was the perfect birthday start I am super pumped to start it I cannot wait my I think I think I'm gonna start this one top left and start with this the outer border ish corner and then I'm gonna start working motif by motif and then I'll work the border um, as I go the borders and the insides and I actually did in addition to so I have myself my chart so I can remind myself which order they come in because I sat and I took pictures of it and I played around with it and I added and took away until I had the exact exactly what I wanted okay so my bonus start on the 14th I had not intended to go beyond 13 starts and I didn't want to take anything away but I had seen um on darling whimsy designs on instagram and i'm actually gonna pull this up so i can share with you her little bit of a story and i promise i'm gonna try to go a little bit faster and i am also hopeful that i don't get cut off again if i do this video is not going up tonight and i will film it and figure it out from there okay Let me see if I can find it. Mm. Okay. So the story on this is she's working with uh, Michelle Bindi. And October they're working on um, raising money, or Michelle's working on raising money for, money for her chosen Alzheimer's charity. And so Darling and Whimsy Designs um shared that her she's been personally touched um in her own family by alzheimer's um, my great grandmother developed dementia about four years before she passed at about 98 years old she went from someone who could do the like new york times crossword puzzle every day read the bible every day played the piano amazing to like could not remember who people were like almost immediately she was never officially diagnosed with Alzheimer's they just kept saying it was dementia um, but it doesn't change how impactful it is to a family so she produced this beautiful sentimental pattern um, and if you purchase it from her Etsy shop she has a paper or PDF copy um, 50% of the sales from the chart will go to Michelle's chosen Alzheimer charity. I immediately got onto it. My nan, who is who passed away and um, had dementia, her birthday was the 14th. It was the day after mine. And so this is the chart. It's called Forget Me Not. And it says, Forget Me Not, my dear, my darling. And so I'm kind of stitching this in remembrance of my great grandmother. But I'm also, I think that this time of the year is rough for us because we miss her and her daughter who was Mimi. And so that's my, uh, my added in my bonus, my plus one. And what a better, what, what a better way. I mean, why would I not go ahead and start this? And it will be a fairly quick stitch. Now it is charted in three gentle arts. Um, I think I'm going to probably just kind of find things in my, my stash for it. It does not have a bag. It does not have anything yet because it was a late edition. All right, number 16, or on the 16th, will be a start. And I only have flosses and printouts of these because I am waiting on the charts and the fabric, which will be coming shortly. And I am going to actually do these as a multi-year Christmas for my mom. She has a tree at her house for my daughter um, that's pink and cutesy, and they decorate it together. Um, it has a bunch of Jane Savory ornaments and things like that. Um, but I have been long since been obsessed with this series, which is Noah's Christmas Ark. And so I've purchased the first pattern. But the t for, I'm going to do two ornaments a year. We'll see if I can get three this year. But the first one I'm going to do is the freebie that Plum Street has on their website, which is a Noah's Welcome mat that says, Welcome, please wipe hooves, paws, and feet. And so for sure we're doing this one this year. And then my daughter has always been obsessed. I mean, what child is obsessed with this? But my child has always been obsessed with alligators. I know these are crocodiles, but I'm going to for sure do this one this year. We'll see if giraffes gets done. Now hold the phone because this is going to be stitched on 36 count 
linen. The whole series. I found some beautiful uh, linen. It's a R and R. It's Stars Hollow Brew, or no, just Stars Hollow linen. Um, and I think it's going to be beautiful. And it was on an incredible deal. And so I went ahead and pulled the DMCs for this. I am just going to do it in the charted DMCs. And this is living in a project bag that I had custom done for me from Be Crafty Bags. And so this will be where this lives from now until all 13 are finished with all the fabric. I went ahead and bought all the fabric together. All right, how are we doing on time? Oh, we're at 30 minutes. Hopefully we do not bonker out again. All right, so then on the 18th, I'm going to start. This was in Primitive Stitcher. Per, no, Punch Needle and prim, Primitive. Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher. Primitive Stitcher and Punch Needle. Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher Magazine. In the summer edition, I believe, this is a Barbara Anna. And this is Strawberry Time. And I think she is fabulous. And I love all things strawberries. So I am going to be stitching this on a piece. This is a also a grab bag piece from my Color and Cotton grab bag. Pretty neutral. I think that's what this is from. And then it will be stitched in the called for DMC. I have not done a Barbara Anna. I have a bunch that I love. There's one in the new Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher for fall that is incredible. It's called Autumn Bounty. I've already bought the DMC for it. Okay, Michael's had a 40% off if you buy online, pick up in store. So I did it. All right, on the 20th, I will be starting another Tempting Tangles. This one is called Echoing Evergreens. And so I'm doing some changes to this. Um, one, I will be stitching my initials. I know the A, the C, and then the V is kind of small, so I don't know what I'm going to do about that other than maybe recharting something, but I am going to be stitching my initials in an alternate color. My fabric is an incredibly beautiful 18 count opal from Under the Sea Fabrics in Evergreen. I had this in my stash. This was a Stitcher's 8 I got as a mystery. Now wait, I totally revamped the colors. So... These will be, I've got three colors to represent the three colors of green. And then my initials are going to be, I believe, either in the this Burning Bush Victoria Mata or Shades of Wine. I think it's going to be the Shades of Wine. So I'm super pumped about this. It's all Victoria Mata. The white is getting blown out big time. Let me see if I swap it around. So I've got a pretty red, a purple, a pink, and a like That's called Country Violets. So I'm excited about that. So that's another fun tempting tangles and actually let me tell you for sure and for certain yes my initials are going to be in that wine color and so i'm excited about that i might even somehow do the date as part of my signature in that wine color so then i'm stuck here folks and i'm running i'm afraid i'm afraid i want to get past that 35 mark oh and i didn't know this was going to be this long so i apologize in advance but, you know, I get a little chatty from time to time. Okay, we're, we're kind of nearing the end. All right, then we've got on the 22nd, I am going to be starting. This is a Sapphire Mountain Hand Crafts Autumn Sampler Band, which I think is so cute. And it says, Harvest Ends and We Give Thanks. I love this. And I, I went ahead and pulled Victoria Mottos and things from my Oh, no, I purchased some. This is going to be on Mystic Fabrics Betteris. And I went on and found some beautiful flosses on Victoria Motto's eBay shop that match the five colors. That is one thing about uh, Sapphire Mountain. She does not use an excess a ton of colors. She, like both patterns that I have of hers that I'm looking to start within, you know, the next couple of months, this and Pride and Prejudice Sal, have only five or six colors. So very autumnal very pretty I'm excited about this one it's got a lot of open work I was going to do this on that petite point but I was really it just there's too many open motifs that I think we're going to get like lost in translation okay I've got two more can we do it I don't know we'll see all right I've shown this one before 
This is Harvest Delivery. I'm waiting on the pattern to come from 123 Stitch by uh, Plum Street Samplers. I'm using, this is a piece of hand dyed by Stephanie. This is the one I just got, Briar Rose. Thought this was beautiful. And Victoria Motto created a conversion of all the weeks. And she sells this uh, through her website. She might still have some left. It was an incredible, incredible value. They only have about five yards each, but they it is the perfect, perfect, perfect swap out for somebody who does not really enjoy working with um, weeks. And it's just maybe I've had about experience or two or 20. And this one is living in a Levy Moore Studio Co. pouch with this majestic unicorn that it, if he was missing the horn, he would look kind of fancified like that horse on Harvest Delivery. Oh, and I forgot to share that, ec ugh, excuse me, Echoing Evergreens is in Love You More Studio Co. pouch with these beautiful black feathers. This is a um, one that has already housed a project, so now it's pulling another, another job, so to speak. All right, so then we've got start number 14, 13 of the original plus one bonus. Um, this one is a toss-up, and it's going to depend on something arriving from overseas and how long that takes. I have tentatively put it all the way to the 26th of the month in hopes that it gets here. So, to make a very long story short, I, you know this if you've watched any of my videos. I am a huge fan, fangirl, like, huge, huge supporter of Mrs. Sadoff Silks. Raquel is amazing. Her customer service is phenomenal. She's just launched a new website. When she launched it, she even gave a coupon code. I mean, like you don't even have to do that. Your product is incredible. And I already knew I wanted to get some more. She had sent me hydrangea, one small skein of hydrangea as a thank you on one of my previous orders. And I knew that I wanted more. So I already knew I was going to go in and purchase some of that. Um, so that I had more than one to work with because that's one I'm going to use on a larger project. Um, and so then I was like, you know what? She's having a sale. Let me look at some solids. And so I do believe that I ordered some solids for at least, I'm thinking about doing a conversion on a project. I don't know which one that will be yet. More to come on that later. So I added that in. To my order and she, I did this she when she launched her website as a thank you one for shopping the new website but also she was on vacation so it would be a little bit she's super fast on her turnaround she's even super fast on her turnaround even though she was on vacation um so she offered the coupon code so I knew I'd be waiting anyway no big deal so in the meantime she gets back and starts posting some of her new incredible starts one of which is she is doing and I'm obsessed with this project, and I have been, and I'm like, this is my opus. It's okay, it's not opus, which it actually is a long dog sampler. This is like epic to me. This is uh, long dog samplers hoity toity. It is incredible. This will be a multi year project. This will be, this is a BAP. I would say this qualifies as a BAP. I mean, it's not huge, but it is, it is involved. I mean, but look at that cardinal. Look at this fanciful bird. I mean, he is strutting. There's double of them too. Um, and then it's got, you know, the year and you can do your initials. I mean, just this, this out, ugh. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. The amount of words that I lack for this, infinite. So, it will either be this if something happens or I think I've shown this before. I also so this is my long dog question mark because I have long since had kitted long dog sampler Sacre Coeur, which I purchased this off of Bendy Stitchy's dis, Bendy Stitchy D stash quite some time ago. I hand dyed some 18 count Ada for it, and then I am doing only two colors. I think it's stitched in one color only. I I don't roll that way. I could do something different. So I am stitching it in two colors of Victoria Motto. So we've got antique rose petals, because you know the pinks, and it's hearts, so you know hearts, pinks, hearts. So antique rose petals and glorious pinks 
on this blue. Oh, it's so beautiful. Okay, so that is a that is a could be a for sure start because I have all the components. I have the pattern. I have the floss. I have the fabric. So I cannot pick the fabric for Hoity Toity. I have I have the pattern. I bought it off of Long Dog. Long Dog Sampler has PDFs of their patterns on their website. And I love a good PDF pattern. I do scan in most of mine just to make as like a working copy. Um, but yeah. Here's the question mark. So, Mrs. Sadas posted her own, she's starting hoity-toity with her silks and she did like a conversion. And I went, like I had the, I had the vapors for a minute. I was like, oh, beautiful. And so through some back and forth, there was another comment on our Instagram that said, do you have plans to share this at some point? So those of us that are obsessed with you and love everything you do can purchase it. Would it be even possible to set up like a listing so we can like just click, add all the beautiful silks to my cart right now and take my money? And Raquel responded back, yes, I would love, I will definitely share my conversion the next time I post. I'll share which numbers I'm doing. Um, I think she wanted to get a little bit started just to see. And I said, I totally be on board with the kit. And she had already told me, not necessary whatsoever. When I purchased from the website, she had contacted me through DM and said, hey, will you provide me some feedback? On the website and I said absolutely like it was a wonderful shopping experience I did make mention that were there were some links that seemed to be a little bit broken which is, happens when you're building a website from the ground up but her website is fantastic and I still could add everything I needed to my cart and place my order that was not not an issue whatsoever she said I'm gonna send something to you as a thank you and I was like wait whoa 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 you've been so generous to me you're like my best friend like, you build me up on Instagram. Like, you don't need to give me anything. She's like, no, no, no. I'm going to. And I said, okay. I'm not going to stand in your way of that. I will just simply continue to shout from the mountaintops how wonderful you are. So, in that post, she says, well, Annie, how would you like to stitch your own hoity-toity in Mrs. Sadas? And I was like, well, first of all, she posted that and then I didn't see it for like three hours or so because, you know, stuff and things and whatever. So when I finally responded back, I was like, oh my gosh, yes, that would be so amazing. Like, I can't, like, I can't wait for you to post it so I can purchase it and like get it started. Like, yay. And she said, well, how about if it's a gift? I was like, what? huh? Come again? Um, she's sending me the entire conversion. Like I will, I'm already like almost crying because like who, who does that? I mean, she does like, uh, so it's somewhere on its way from Spain. USPS is like, sorry, can't track that. <clears throat> So I'm like, I'm tracking it on the Spanish website or Spain website. And I'm like, I can't read that. Translate. And it's like, as leaving the country on October 1st. And I was like, well, okay, we're going to pray for it to get here soon. Um, so hoity to if hoity toity does not arrive on the 26th, by the 26th, I do still have to pick a fabric, but I know for certain I have something in my stash that will work. Um, and then I will start Sacre Coeur and Hoity Toity will get started in November. Or might get started like two days later. So then my goal is Hoity Toity will be here. I'm just going to, I'm putting it out there in the universe. It will be here. It will be ready to be started on the 26th. I will start that and I'm giving that three days. Everything else I'm kind of given like the start date and then the next day. 
And I did that purposefully so that I could have hoity-toity would have three total days. And then I'm giving Rosetta three more days at the end of the month. Now, here's what's throwing a wrench in my beautiful plans. Erin. Two martini stitcher. Had to go and show on all her floss tubes I'm catching up on. Playing with jacks. So guess what I bought today off one, two, three stitch? The pattern. The linen. Valor. The linen. And the silken colors you recommended. Plus two others because I wanted to see if I liked the silken colors. Or I saw another autumn that was like gentle arts. And then I saw another one with thread work. So we're going to see which one I decide to use for that uh, forest pumpkin. Because I do like the forest pumpkin better. I'm not a big Halloween gal. So thanks. Because now I think we're at 15 starts. So what started as 13, then became 14, because I have to stitch that. And now we're at 15. I'm just going to shake my head. Nothing else can be added. Nothing else can be added. I cannot handle any more. So I don't know what playing with jacks is going to look like in my rotate, in my kind of monthly whatever. And I, I truly think I'm going to continue to pull out Autumn Drum because I'm obsessed. And that's why I've already gotten like uh, two more projects that are going to be on linen this month. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited about this, guys. So um, I'm going to start hyping up the hashtag on the insta again it's hashtag joy filled birthday sal s-a-l birthday sal and stitch on something brings you joy and for those of you that continue to just like give the most positive and uplifting comments week after week and the thumbs up and the subscribes and the likes and the comments and the, all the amazingness that continues to bring joy to my life I started this, and if you go back to video one, which whoo, I watched it, and I was like, I've come a long way, baby. Um, I said I started this because I just wanted a cool record, and there's really the best place to, I hate to say this, the best place to keep your videos is on YouTube. And now I'm on the precipice of 300 subscribers, a lot of those just within the last month. And I know it's because some of you have been sharing me. Um, Aaron shared me on more than one occasion. Um, and so if you shared me, thank you. Like, I, I love this community. And I will shout it and shout it again. This community is fan fantastic. And like, I love that y'all find humor in me being kind of a goofball, but that's just who I am. And um, I had somebody not subscribe to me and kind of leave me an ugly comment on one of my earliest videos, and I started to kind of feel bad about that. My husband said, well, don't you know you're not supposed to read the comments? I was like, how can I not read all of the wonderful comments? If I let one get me down, then, you know, I got to have a little bit thicker skin than that. Um, but there's so many wonderful ones. Like, how could I not read them and comment back? Um, I mean, one sweet, sweet, sweet commenter who watches my videos, you know who you are, hashtagged me last week. Hashtag shut the front door and don't take my fabric. Like, yes. Thank you for hashtagging me. Like, I'm a walking hashtag. <laughs> Which, by the way, I still say pound sign. Because, you know, when you're 39, it was a pound sign long before it was a hashtag. True story. Um, so, with that being said, please celebrate my birthday with me. Um, you know, I'm getting old. The gray hairs, they are a coming. And so, something's got to be fun, right? Um, sadly, my daughter, who last year was convinced I was 28 and told everybody I was turning 28 really does know my age this year. So like in one year, she, her mom went from 28 to 39. <laughs> I aged 11 years to her. It's like dog. It's like dog years, mama years. Um, 
And you know, some days I do feel like I aged 11 years in one. But then some days it's amazing. So I'm done chatting. I chatted on the last video and got myself off. YouTube let me go to 49 minutes on this one. Thank you, YouTube. It took doing what Amanda May told me the last time. Apparently, every time there's an update, I'm going to have to disengage. disengage. I'm going to have to, like, delete the YouTube and put it back on in order to get a decent length video. So, I'm going to close this one out properly. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. Um, continue to find things that build joy into your life and join me for some birthday fun this month. And if you like this, please give it a thumbs up. Feel free to comment. Tell me what your favorite project is that I'm going to be working on this month. And with that, I will see you next Friday, Friday the 11th, which will be two days before my birthday. And I promise it's not all about my birthday. Okay, maybe it's a little bit. With that, I will leave you and I will say happy stitching this week. Bye, friends.